gives me an environment for the outdoors. I know I would like to be here with. Never to be the same person I want to be. And I would love it more. Ah. It's interesting how, without a picture, one couldn't think of a time when there weren't pictures or what it would look like. How straightforward, isn't it? One simply doesn't have the ability. Therefore, whatever we do with the picture is what the reality will become. Literally. Isn't that amazing? But because they've insisted that it's only mumbling or whispering or that what I have to say means nothing of any type of importance or I must talk from behind the camera, I can't look the camera in its eye and speak and have audio at the same time. Someone must hide it, hide my true thought, my true rationale as I explain it. Did you hear what I said? There wasn't a time that existed before a camera in your own life. Therefore, you cannot explain a time when such a Therefore, again, you cannot explain a time when such a time did exist. Can you get it or will you continue to be irrational and childish as I speak to you? You can't imagine a time in history before there was a photograph or video. Therefore, you cannot properly say that you can describe such a time as though it did exist unless you believe what the camera tells you. Therefore, the image is what you believe. Do you see now? It's feeble to see someone else's inferior rationale attempt to supersede me. It appears feeble on its behalf, but yet it attempts to rush me and twist my own words against me as my face distorts because I have to re reiterate again. To understand it's inferior to not see the logic in such. The camera or picture as it describes is what you believe. But what I see, if it reflects what I'm saying or what I believe, is what should be most important. I didn't attempt to leave you with another shallow, simple subjectivity. I needed to articulate the thought correctly so that one can get a hold of it. If you can't take the thought because you get a headache, something is wrong. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So yet again, where is the solution? The solution is in the entire logic. Do you understand entire logic now as it exists? That's a big thought. Yet again, someone else insists on interrupting as I communicate. But wondrously and wonderfully, I had chosen this setting, so it was pre-thought out and planned. I would mapped out my entire route before I had come here today. I had scouted yesterday and I knew exactly what I was supposed to achieve and accomplish. And since I've arrived today, it's been absolutely perfect because I see the entire route as it exists. And here's my little cul-de-sac. Isn't it a wonder? Isn't it beautiful? Behold the beauty of nature. But what is... Aren't these concepts supposed to be 2,000 years old and such? As old as the Bible, the longest or oldest document in human history, or one of them as such? The real reality is that inevitably we'll shrink. We see miracles every day. We see what happens simply if one is to divide or be changed during instant mutant adaptation, they shrink. So new films have taught us this, such as Ant-Man, inevitably, if you think out their implications, not abusing them. What's the constant smell of the infection? 